Hi, so I'm Matt with Hoboken Horology, and this is a review of the Mont Blanc Olympic Series uh, 2024. Uh, this is the ballpoint pen. This is the red one. Um, so I'm going to just do a quick unboxing. I'll talk about the boxing, and then uh, we'll go into the details on the pen. So this is the Paris Olympic Games 2020, uh, since 1924. This is like the 100-year anniversary. Um, pretty... Uh, pretty nice box. It's it's probably the nicest um, outer shell that I've seen. Um, not that I have a lot of Mont Blancs, but um, this is definitely among the nicest. Um, warranty card. And we have our booklet here. There's the pen in question. It has this beautiful like um, printing on this page, like um, incredible. I mean, it, it's it's really like a nice little booklet where usually I don't really pay much attention to them. And uh, here's the pen. Now, this was ordered from the website, which I was scrolling on, on their website and this popped up. And literally, I was on their site for a while. I've been really wanting a ballpoint pen. I, I know how it sounds. Um, but after fountain pens and roller balls, I, I really wanted a ballpoint pen. And, and, and it's a shame because the fountain pen version of this pen is really incredible. It, it would be, it would have been the highest thing on my list. But I, like I said, I, I just wanted a ballpoint pen. I, I wanted a ballpoint pen from Mont Blanc because I didn't have one. Um, and this is the pen. My, my lighting is a bit on the orange side. It's like, um you know, like a 3200 kind of like a you know, a, a very warm light in here. So this is a bit warmer on camera than it, it is in, in reality. It's actually pretty, um, it's a very bright red. Um, it's funny, as I'm looking at this now, I realize my lighting is actually pretty poor. Um, but regardless, it, it is beautiful. I mean, it, it says Olympic Games. It's, um, you know, you just twist it to extend it. And uh, I mean, this is, uh, it's really nice. It's it's probably, I think it's like their nicest ballpoint pen that they that they have. Um, it's 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 it's. I mean, I, I'm just I was completely blown away with it. And excuse my uh, my poor handwriting here. I'm I'm trying to and I can have it a little bit of an excuse because I'm doing it while I'm on camera here. So um, we'll just do the quick brown box jumps over the lazy dog and if you're wondering this is almost as smooth as a roller ball the ink isn't nearly as like dark as a roller ball um here we'll we'll do like a quick comparison i always hold my roller balls very much to like a tilt um, I get great, uh, action from these pens, um, from the roller balls, especially. And, um, I have to say, I'm really impressed with Mont Blanc's, um, ball points. Like the ball point is almost as smooth as a roller ball. If I had picked up a ball point and I tried it out, I would think that it's possibly, um, like another brand's rollerball. Like it, it, it's quite smooth. Like I'm, I'm really like, I've really got to say how smooth this is. Now I've, I've listened to people online and I went with a broad insert. You can't change it um, from when you purchase it, you have to buy the inserts. So this is what it came with. It came with this medium, um, which is a bit, it's just as smooth. It's actually, it's not, it, the broad is not smoother than the medium. I, I would, disregard those comments but it is uh it is very much um a thinner line you could see the line thickness is is quite different um so i going back i don't know i, I think i would prefer just to use the pen out of the box until it, it ran out and then go and purchase your refills because i i jumped the gun and bought too broad but i'll use the broad and then maybe i'll go to the medium and then i'll go to the broad i always buy cartridges with my pens if it's a rollerball or, or whatever or if it takes um if it's a fountain pen that takes cartridges and i always buy extra and then like i 
I, I haven't had to buy more because I'm, I'm rotating my pens using different things. Um, so I'm excited to kind of use these as often as possible till it runs out. Um, yeah, this red, um, like I said, I, I really hope it's kind of showing on video here and my lighting is like quite yellow. Um, but man, it, it, it just does not do it justice. Like even I, as I'm looking at this lighting, I'm like, I might have to redo this video tomorrow in the sunlight. Um, but it's, it's such a bright red. Um, it looks really great. Um, maybe I'll, I'll I'll just post this video and see what you guys think. If you if you want me to redo it, um, like in the sunlight, because it, it's quite dark over here right now. Um, but I I really cannot um, emphasize enough how nice this red is. And I I wouldn't I I don't have any other Mont Blancs that are red like this. And I think that their red is is very similar. So if you have like the serpent in red or um, I think the Marilyn Monroe pen is in red. I'm, I'm, one of those special edition pens is in red like this. Um, it, I, I think the some of the, like the Serpent Red, I think is fairly similar to this. But like I said, I, I really wanted a roller, um, a, a ballpoint, not a roller ball, because um, even though this is so quick, I really wanted something that could sit on the back of this notebook, like in the back pouch. And also something that I don't have to cap. Like I can just leave it out, leave it uncapped, and it'll work fine. I mean, it's funny because I did a quick test before the video and I could tell that the ink like kind of needed to get started. Like I kind of needed to get the ink started for before I did the video, even though I had used the pen um, uh, a little bit before, like, um, you know, yesterday. Um, once the ink got started, um, it really just, it flows really nicely. And, and and I don't think the broad and the medium, like even though the broad is broad, I don't think it would make a difference on how small you could write because it's still kind of like, both tips are a bit like, it's hard to explain it. They're a bit thicker than like a ballpoint pen, but you know, you have to adapt to, this isn't gonna be um, the world's best pen, right? You can buy a lifetime supply of big pens for the price of one Mont Blanc pen. Um, it's about the, you know, the design. You have to really love the design and you have to um, really want that feeling. And especially with their inserts, like how nice that I'm, um, you know, describing that these inserts are is quite nice. Like they, this is a very smooth ballpoint pen. I really cannot emphasize that enough. It is extremely smooth. Um, and it looks great. Like I, I wore this one in a, in a front jacket pocket pocket at a wedding. Um, I liked it kind of, you know, showing off the pen and, uh, it's nice, you know, this is something that you could have in your, in your front pocket. And, uh, and, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I, I don't really have much else to say other than it, it's really great. If, uh, I don't really check comments. I, I gotta be honest. I, I'm pretty, I'm pretty horrible at, at this, uh, at reading comments and, but I, I will read it. I re will read the comments for this video or, or I'll try to for the next couple of weeks and answer any questions if anyone has them. I wanted to make this video to kind of put it out there because there's, there's no videos on this pen and, and I, I don't know if there ever will be. So I, I kind of just wanted to put it out there and let people uh, see it like me who, who really wanted more information. And <laughs> there's like two videos on the uh, Olympic pens on YouTube. Um, but yeah, this one, this one is, 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 is now my favorite, of course, because it's new, but it, I just really enjoy it. And uh, if you're wondering about changing the ink real quick, how do you change the ink on a Mont Blanc ballpoint pen? Well, you just unscrew the way that you, you, the way that you turn it to extend the point in the opposite direction, which is counterclockwise, you just keep going. And I don't want to do it now because like it was actually quite light to do it. It wasn't like scary or anything. It actually came off really nicely. And, and I'm not going to do it again right now. But when I did, you, I could just tell the, the you could see the quality inside the pen. I know how silly that sounds, but you really can. You can see these, uh, you know, where the, the this back kind of permanent cap um, affixes to the, um, um, I don't know what you call this, this just the, the, the the standard part of the pen. It's just quite nice. Um, 
but yeah, I, I, I think that's, that's really all I have to say. Let me, uh, let me do something a little weird. I'm going to actually shoot the camera light. Um, and let's be honest, like, I think, I think most people have probably clicked off of this video by now, but yeah, let me, let me just do this real quick. And, um, man, I'm trying to do this from an iPad that does not have a flashlight. All right. So yeah, unfortunately I won't be able to do that, but, uh, yeah, you'll have to kind of take my word for it that how nice this color is. Uh, um, hopefully it shows in the video. Um, thank you for watching. Uh, let me know if you have any questions.